I'm sorry, but is this entirely necessary? Is it necessary for Tony Pollard to be in fantasy jail? Well, let's think for a second, Tony. What got you here? You've been a waste of space in people's lineups for most of the season, but especially the last three weeks. And you capped off that stretch with a game against the Giants, the only team you've actually scored on this year where people figured you'd get back on track. And what did you do? Watch while your team scored 49 points while all you could muster were 55 scoreless yards. So not only is this necessary, you're lucky you're not in fantasy solitary confinement or fantasy death row. And by the way, you are bust of the week. No, I'm not singing it. That's how mad I am at you. That was aggressive. You're like a clump of hair in a shower drain, just clogging lineups all year, but nobody takes you out because they're hoping the problem will just correct itself, but it never does. I have that problem all the time. I bet you do. Look, I just get frustrated when young players with a lot of potential just refuse to take that leap to the next level. Yeah, I understand that. You are included! You're supposed to be the next great NFL quarterback, the next Manning, the next Breeze, the next Brady. Instead, you're just the next Kyle Orton with better hair. Travis Etienne, I'll give you a pass this time because you're basically never here, but don't let it happen again. But Calvin Ridley, you get no pass because you've been garbage for the better part of a month. If anyone actually puts you in their lineups from this point forward, they are clearly fans of self-harm and somebody should call the authorities. You seem extra mad this week. We're getting close to the end of the fantasy regular season, Saquon. We don't have time for this bullshit anymore, and that includes you. What do you want me to do? My O-line comes to the game drunk every week, and my quarterback's mom still makes his bed for him. Saquon, you're acting like you've never overcome a bad O-line or bad quarterback before. You've had both of those things your entire career, so I don't know if you're just not trying as hard or what's going on. I know running back primes are short, but yours is not supposed to be over yet. Boss, what do I do with him? Oh yeah, I forgot there's more than one inmate in fantasy jail this week. Lamar, I don't know what to do with you. You had two straight weeks of just not putting up good fantasy numbers even though you were playing well in real life, and then this week you don't put up good fantasy numbers because you actually played bad. You are finding every possible avenue to not score fantasy points, and quite frankly, it's stressing me the f out. And you're ruining Mark Andrews in the process. Eh, we've got pretty easy matchups the rest of the way. I'll figure it out. I have almost no confidence in that. Just like I have no confidence that Josh Allen will stop throwing the ball to the other team and ruining Stephon Diggs' fantasy battle. I think I'm gonna start punching him in the kidney every time he throws a pick. I'm open to all solutions. Hopkins and Henry, do you think you can help Help Will Levis out a little bit? I mean, Hop, you're supposed to be his security blanket. Instead, you're just a weighted blanket. You know, because you're weighing him down. Yeah, I got it. Just making sure. And you, big boy, you've been here a lot this year. Looks like you're just turning into another Titans running back that everyone is hoping will be good instead of actually being good. Congratulations, you're Bishop Sankey. Hollywood Brown, not sure if anyone told you, but that toddler looking mother that was running around last game, that was Kyler. He's back, and that means you're supposed to be good, just in case you didn't get that memo. And Deontay, you're one of the few Steelers wide receivers in history to not have major off the field issues, so I don't know why you insist on continuing to have on the field issues. Your inconsistency makes me want to stick my head in a hornet's nest. All right, folks, that'll do it this week. Now, if I'm not here next week, just know that's because I was not joking about what I said to Deontay, and I am extremely allergic to bees. So we'll either meet back here next week or in the ER. Your choice.